What's up, Cedar Bird? Y'all feeling fantastic? Y'all jitterbugging? Y'all bum bagging? That's another way of saying fanny pack. Are you all fanny packing? Sit right here. Right here. Yeah, I pulled a chair out for you, but it's just in the middle of an empty ring. All right, thank you. All right, so give it up one more time for the fanny pack, in everybody. Well, you are in true form out here in your fanny pack, dressed uh, not quite to the nines, at least to the six and a half. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. It's cool seeing a cowboy wearing Crocs. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, you're, you're just going to do a, do a two-minute intro during my show and then insult me, but that's fine. Let's just go back to the cards. Maybe be simple here. This is the thing. I'm, I'm home. All right, brag about living in a bowling alley, how about you? So, uh, we'll just get right to it. You're walking out to wake me up before you go, go. Did you ever think about walking out to a song that doesn't stink like a butt? Real quick, let, let me check. Does wake me up before you go, go suck? Well, I mean, to be fair, but... To be fair, to be fair, the people said it's a great song. Well, uh, you know, it's art, so we're both right, but agreed. Yeah, oh, this is not the worst. How much do you think they're paying me? You wouldn't know, you've never met one. Again, I just, I mean, apparently everybody in the building is just going to keep interrupting me, including you. Okay. So I don't even know why I have the cards. Don't yell at me anymore. Let's just get to it. How's your recovery coming? Let's stop wasting time. That's what everybody wants to know, right? How's your recovery coming? Well, um, I got surgery. It's going to be Shout out almost Madison. four months ago. Um, tore my labrum actually in this ring. Here at Circle B in Cedarburg, and uh, they put five anchors in my shoulder. Reattached uh, the tissue back to the bone and everything. And, um, you know, it, being a 19 year old fanny pack kid, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of scary being only 19 and having my first surgery. And uh, it kind of, I kind of got nervous because when COVID happened and that all hit the world, it was. I was afraid that this was going to be taken away from me again, because this is what I love. I mean, I've grown up in professional wrestling. I've known the people here almost my entire life. The people here have helped raise me. And I was worried that with this surgery, it would be taken away again. And then I got that one phone call from one of my best friends in the world. And his name, his name is Jordan Cross. And, uh, you know, it was literally like two days after my surgery, and I'm all down, you know, it's like, well, here we go, now, now we're in for the ride. And I was telling them how I was worried that professional wrestling was going to be taken from me again. And he told me, and this is why he's my best friend, because he's the most real person out there. He said, it's either you can sit in your recliner, and throw yourself a pity party, or you can get yourself up, put on some short shorts, go hit some lights at the gym, and become better every single day. So, Jordan, I know you're back there. Please come on here, man. I want to thank you in front of our home.
This guy right here is what's going to make me come back better than ever. And him and I together are going to take over the pro wrestling world. It's been what? Four years now we've been wrestling? In August, right? It'll be four years? Well, figure. This fourth year, we're going to rock the world. Hey, Cap, I think we already started. Sit back down, right here. Okay. Yeah, you can squat or kneel, you know, whatever you'd like to do. Go ahead and wrap up. Again, now that we know you're most of the way recovered, we, I have to ask, they're paying me to. They only gave me one question to ask. What is your timetable for return? And what kind of person, anybody specifically, who would you like to see standing across the ring from you when that return does happen? Yeah, 
mid-July, I'll be back in this ring. Yeah. Good. Because you have July, you have August, you have September, you have October, you have November, and then we'll have December. Blizzard Girl, 2022, you've been warned. I'll see you at Blizzard Ball.